Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the key decks. This is their part number B dash, pardon me, K dash BX SGL 234 dash 112. This is a weldable gate box, is what it is, and I have one here to show you. K for key decks, BX for box, SGL single hole at a two and three quarter back set that's inch and a half hole. This would be, we don't really sell these that often uh, with the inch and a half hole, probably because the lock that goes into it. I understand that Quickset made one or their slam lock um, will fit into an inch and a half hole. I don't know if they still make it though, but the Schlag version, um, which absolutely does still exist, the B250 series, um, you don't, you may not sell that often because it's a very high quality lock. Translation, it's costly. Um, there, you know what? And come to think of it, there are import, there are uh, cloned copy versions of that from import manufacturers that you can do as well. Two and three quarter back set. I would take this inch and a half hole. Overall height, about three and three eighths. Overall width of the box, four and three quarter, with a thickness of just pushing one and three quarter. You're going to have this integrated stop that's going to have a total projection of inch and a quarter. Okay, so this would be used in. Here's when I sell this. I have a I have a contractor who's building a three flat building in northwest the, the uh, northwest side of Chicago. Um, or the north side, and or on the south side, uh, wherever. Just um, you know where I've sold them. Wrought iron gate in front, gate work. They want to put a uh, B250 series or a copy of it, a slam lock that is going to go on there, and that's going to be out at the street level. That lock is going to be Maison keyed or controlled cross keying. The three apartments will work it. The master will work it, and. You have a slam lock, so the door's always locking behind you. It's very unusual to put an electric strike there, but not unheard of. Um, you have just a post and then for the jam, and then you have the structure of the frame, but you still need a way for the door to swing out, but then stop, and that's where this integrated stop comes in. Made of steel, weighs 1.15 pound, so it's certainly not light in its weight. And why would you buy this relatively simple item? And it's it is simple, um, inch and a half. It's simple in the fact that this is just, you know, one piece of steel that's been punched, probably sheared, punched in the flat, put into a small press brake to bend it, fold it over, weld the weld the component together on the inside then bring this one final piece in and weld it right to the edge, which is prepped for a two and a quarter tall latch bolt. It certainly would accept an inch and eighth face for sure, drilled and tapped holes. So a real simple piece of equipment, uh, part, you know, not, not complex to make. However, I would argue that the cost of this would not even be worth your time to figure out what you're going to use to build it out of. Um, it's just a, a situation where Kedex this manufacturer is set up to make these, and they do it. Uh, they do it really well. They do it all the time. Made of 14 gauge, obviously steel. This does have a um, um, I am tempted to say that this is white coat galvanized, so it has some basic corrosion reset. You know what? Certainly it would. Otherwise, it would be rusting right now, right in front of our eyes. There's a link below this video to uh, some, <clears throat> some documents. First of all, we have cut sheet. <clears throat> That's important because it's going to allow you to review the dimensional properties of the item. <clears throat> Basically, everything we've already just gone over. Small, <clears throat> small amount of variation between what I've measured and what it came up to, in particular, the inch and five-eighths. You know, it was clearly closer to inch and three quarter. There's then also a link below this video to the cross reference guide, which is very handy because 
if you know the lock manufacturer, let's say Schlage in this instance, scroll down to the Schlage entry, it's all alphabetical, and you know you're using a B-series lock, and I am not finding that listed. A BXSGL234-112. Hmm. They actually do not have this at all listed in this cross-reference sheet. So either our list is outdated Yeah, it's not listed in this cross-reference anywhere. Okay. So I will investigate whether or not um, an updated cross-reference exists. The point of the matter is, if it was complete, or not, perhaps not out, out of date, you'd be able to go to that section and find the lock that you're working with and go over to the column of which gate box that you would want to work with. They can do these in steel. They can do... They can do gate boxes, not these, this in particular, but in steel, uh, and it's 14 gauge by the way, stainless steel and aluminum. Aluminum's nice to have because down here in Florida they're you know going to be building gates out of non-ferrous based materials. Uh, then there's a link to a gate box catalog and that's just literally the catalog that you're going to be able to pull up um, their gate boxes and they do have a cross-reference uh, sheet there as well and again, I do not see the reference to the dash 112, the inch and a half hole. So we'll check and see if we have some more updated information that we can put there. But again, where you're going to use this is a deadbolt that's going to take an inch and a half hole. Um, the B200 series, the B250 series comes to mind, uh, and the clones of that item. Quick said I know at one time had one. Uh, finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Hedex products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Uh, the name Kedex is synonymous with gate boxes, at least it is to people who do gate work, that's, that's for sure. Um, but it's also, they are also synonymous with wire door, uh, armored door loops flexible conduit that you can pass low voltage wiring through. And they do this material in quarter and three eighths, lots of different colors, lots of different uh, prepackaged kits. Prepackaged kits, they can do it with um, a variety of different uh, bulk lengths. If you need a 500 foot roll, they can do that and then sell you all of the connectors separately, meaning the adapter plates that will allow you to finish off the installation. So they're also known as that, uh, for that sort of material. If you um, are a locksmith or someone who deals with security hardware, you're go you would, in my opinion, be served by reviewing their catalog because they have some items that you're really not going to find anywhere else. Um, some very specialty items such as installation tools for doing gate work as well. Um, uh, and I find them to be very... Um, responsive. They're able to get material out fairly quick. They generally, from the factory, have a very short type of lead time and can get stuff moved out of the office really fast. Finally, if you have any questions on the Kedex K-BXSGL234-112 single gate box for a uh, two and three quarter back set and those slam locks, they're not adjustable back sets, so be very mindful of what you're ordering in terms of the back set. Order a two and three quarter lock set um, with an inch and a half hole or any other Kedex product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.